going to talk about this newly launched in India Etude House Glow Fixing Tint with swatch all available 7 shades and just have a look how pretty it looks. If you want to know about this glow fixing tint in detail then keep on watching. Hello my lovely people, I'm Zoha and welcome to Zoha Insight. I hope you all are doing great and are in best of your health. You can see I am so happy right now because Etude House launched their makeup playlist collection and I am so excited because they launched two eyeshadow palettes, three blushes and seven lip tints, their glow fixing tints. When it was launched, I was eyeing on this particular tint to launch in India and right now we have seven shades. Recently they launched two more shades as well that is yet to available in India and earlier only five shades were available then they added two more shades so here we have seven shades. I bought all these seven shades from Nykaa so that I can try test and see how all these shades perform and I can do a really nice swatch and review all these beautiful shades for you lovely people. So yeah let's get started. Alright, let's talk about packaging first. So this is how the outer packaging looks like. It is color coordinated. You can see it is gorgeous. This pastel colored packaging, glow fixing tint written and all the shade names and numbers are written. The entire packaging is beautifully color coordinated. You can see it is uh, very sleek, very simple, very beautiful looking but this you know crystal kind of a top looks very stunning. Very chic, very beautiful, luxurious vibe it has. I am just taking some more shades. You can see how beautiful it looks and it is color coordinated. And from the packaging, you can definitely understand that this is something that's going to give a glow to your lips. I've also tried this Etude House Fixing Tint. It is a matte version and it is their best seller. Everyone loves it and I love it too. I have talked about this one in my lipstick recommendations video. You can go ahead and watch those swatches and get to know my thoughts on this. I've swatched 85 plus lipstick shades in that video so that video is going to be helpful for you. I'll add a video link in description box. This is a matte version and they launched the the glow version of the same so this is going to be glossy the one that I have on my lips is the shade number four if you are curious this is I'm gonna wear throughout the video and I'm also gonna swatch all the shades in this video so yeah this is the matte version which is their best seller and now we have this beautiful glowy version available and I'm pretty sure that it is going to be best seller in India as well okay so we were talking about the packaging it is just so beautiful and this has this unique uh, shape that I really like very aesthetically pleasing and really nice luxe vibe it has it has a bit of weight to it as well it is circle and square mix like there is no particular sharp edge you can see it looks really nice yeah I really like the packaging very beautiful if you have multiple shades in your collection then it won't be difficult to figure out which shade you want to wear because the packaging is color coordinated I'm gonna talk about the shades and everything in a bit hand swatch lip swatch everything is going to be there uh, but before that let's talk about the formulation because this formulation is very unique I must tell you the formulation is definitely not something like any other lip tints that I've tried the Consistency is very beautiful, very serum-like, very lightweight consistency when you apply it initially and it is going to look like serum and just give it two minutes then it is going to set on your lips. The pigment, the stain going to set on your lips beautifully in just two minutes and it's going to separate, you know, the formulation going to separate, the tint going to settle on your lips really well for a long time and the glossiness comes on the surface of your lips and it looks very nice, very juicy. You can see it is looking very beautiful. So the tint and the glossiness separates after two to three minutes. The stain stays on your lips for a very long time and the glossiness separates and comes on the surface of your lips and gives that gorgeous, glowy, juicy, dewy look that we all lovelies really love to wear. So that's why I told you this is different from any other lip tints that we have tried and the texture is very lightweight, very serum-like. It applies very beautifully. You can definitely build it up and it won't be heavy, sticky, greasy at all on your lips. It is not at all sticky your lips won't stick which is just so good it is extremely lightweight 
and super long lasting. And one more thing, few shades in this collection are a bit sheer and few shades are very pigmented. So for sheer shades, uh, you need to go in with two to three coats and for pigmented, one to two coats maybe, that much will be enough. Let me quickly share the shade numbers so that you can understand which shades are a bit sheer and you need two to three coats of application for it and which shades are a bit pigmented so you need one to two coats max. So the shade number one and five is a bit sheer but it is buildable. You can apply three coats max and you'll be very happy with the pigmentation. And shade number two, four, six and seven are pigmented shades. So all you need to do is to apply just one coat for, you know, a little bit of a stain and very healthy, natural looking appearance. And for very pigmented look, go ahead with the second coat. So those were the six shades. However, shade number three is a bit different from all these six shades. It is not very sheer like those two shades and it is not very pigmented like other four shades that I just told you. It is somewhere in between. The opacity is somewhere in between. So if you apply one coat or just a little more than one coat, you know, just a little bit of amount you take and apply, that much will be enough or maybe two coat if you want. So yeah, this is having that beautiful medium coverage. It's not very pigmented and not very sheer, but it is beautifully buildable. And why the formulation is a bit unique? Because I can totally see that it is having that very beautiful serum-like consistency when it applies, but it settles like a really nice jelly lip color on your lips, but it is not sticky like a jelly or sticky lip color. But it has that really nice, you know, combination of serum and oil in it. So it is going to be hydrating as well. So it is very glossy, very juicy, very beautiful, like a lip oil you have applied on your lips. And it gives that really nice glowing oil, lip oil kind of a look. And it is just so beautiful looking. The hydration stays on your lips for the entire day, even after the glossiness, the glowiness, the oiliness, you know, goes away. Uh, the hydration level is not going to be down at all. It is going to stay intact. In fact, uh, for example, right now you have applied. All right. So for two minutes, it will take some time for it to separate on your lips. Stain is going to stay like this and the glowiness will appear on the surface. Then, for example, two to three hours, it stays like this. If you uh, go ahead with some munching and eating, you can do that. A really nice, sophisticated meal, a bit of munching. A coffee is easy to do with this. It lasts for all the shades, lasts for good five to eight hours, depending on their pigmentation and how many coats you have applied and all the other factors are necessary, weather and everything also. Uh, after, let's say, three to four hours, if glossiness fades away a little bit. Your lips are not going to be completely dry. All right, it is going to be really beautifully moisturized and nourished. And there is going to be a really nice shine on your lips. That sheen looks very healthy and beautiful. The stain doesn't come off in an uneven and crusty manner. It stays so well on your lips and just it, it comes in an even manner. Your lips won't feel crusty or dry. However, it is always necessary to prep your lips beautifully before going in with any lip color. This was a quick tip for you. So after 3-4 hours when glossiness goes away, you'll easily be able to see that healthy shine on your lips, which is so nice. And 5-6 to six hours from the application, uh, shine also fades away a little bit, but the nourishment, hydration is not going to go away. Your lips are not going to feel dry at all. It is going to feel nourished and nice and stain stays. Yeah, stain is going to lighten a little bit because you did all the munching and eating and everything. So it is going to be faded a little bit, but is not going to fade completely and in an uneven manner. It's going to fade in an even manner, very healthy and, you know, hydrated, beautiful. It is not that easy to remove this lip tint from your lips because it settles so well on your lips. Like it holds, it grips your lips so well. So it's not that easy to remove this lip tint. You will need a couple of uh, micellar water cotton pads to remove this or maybe 
an oil based makeup remover would be great uh, cleansing balm or oil based micellar water can work great too uh, that's why it took me quite a lot of time to film swatches of all these uh, so that i can completely remove them my lip colors are looking very much natural and on top of it i am applying the next lip color so that's why it took quite a lot of time for me to film swatches of all these seven shades also it is a moist tint so at first when you apply the shade is going to be slightly different and once it settles it is going to be a little bit deeper than the initial application so that is something you need to keep in mind the lighter shades might look that they are not suitable for so many skin tone beauties but it's actually not like that once it sets it deepens a little bit and according to me all the shades are very beautiful all the shades going to suit on all skin tone beauties really well depending on the kind of uh, lipstick look you are wearing lip look you are wearing by the way you can go ahead and pick whichever shade you prefer the most for your skin tone and i'm going to talk about the shades and skin tone as well in this video so stay tuned till the end also the scent of this lip tint is really nice very mild very mild you know barely there very mild soft fruity scent like barely there yeah it's really tough to figure out what exact the scent is because it is so mild it doesn't really even you know feel on lips or anything like that so it is great in that way also one more interesting thing when you try to take off that shine from your lips it is not going to take off the color completely just a little bit for the deeper shades a little bit of uh, color might come off you know i'm just this clean finger this is the shade 04 and you can see just a little bit came off nothing too much so maybe glossiness will fade away uh, you can take off the glossiness and everything but you know the stain is going to stay intact as it is which is great let me share this quick example you can see a little bit but the stain is intact also i really want to appreciate that how natural beautiful even and sophisticated the stain looks this is something that i love to wear i'm definitely gonna wear all these shades and gonna enjoy each and every bit of it and i'm highly impressed with the formulation it's a big thumbs up let me just apply a little bit of amount and show you that how smooth it looks You can see it is so smooth on lips. The texture is even. It is not at all patchy, crusty, sticky. It is just perfect. The perfect consistency, the perfect texture that all of us beauties would love to wear. It is not at all thick and it is very smooth. Uh, that gives a really nice plump appearance to your lips. So all you beauties who don't prefer those lip colors or those lip glosses that gives a tingling sensation can opt for this as well because it gives a really nice smooth application. You can see the glossiness is developing and is giving a really beautiful appearance, a fuller, smooth, pouty appearance to the lips that I'm obsessed with. Really. Now let me show you the hand swatches, lip swatches of all these beautiful seven shades of Etude House Glow Fixing Lip Tint and also I'm going to dab each and every shade so that you can see the stain, how it actually looks and also I'm going to wait for two minutes so that uh, the shade can develop that glossiness. So everything is there for you lovely people. So yeah, let's begin with the swatches. So the very first shade is 01 Pure Coral. At first, when you apply this particular shade, it is going to give a very sheer wash of coral in one single layer. It has a beautiful combination of orange with pink. So it has that perfect coral touch to it that I really like. Very fresh, very beautiful, very sophisticated color it is. So at first, it is a very prominent coral. Uh, just for the stain and when you build this up for two to three coats it is going to look more orangey and less pinky but still that uh, you know coral touch is there it is very fresh and lively looks stunning on lips and you can see i am 
uh, giving it some time just two minutes for the uh, lip tint to settle on my lips and the glossiness for it to show up really well on my lip surface and you can see how beautiful it looks it is just so stunning i love how gorgeous and natural this looks a very beautiful everyday color and also i'm dabbing the glossiness away for you to see that how beautiful it looks it has given that really nice sheer coral tint that looks very healthy also you can see the stain has a bit of a red touch to it it's not too much but yeah it's there and it is looking really nice very lively very candy like very fresh definitely this shade is a warm undertone shade and this shade on its own gonna suit on pale fair light light to medium skin tone beauties beautifully next i have shade number 02 mellow pink this is again a very fresh very natural looking very lively pink but it's not too much warm and not too much cool it is somewhere in between so at first application it looks like a very natural looking pink your lips are naturally pink kind of a shade you will get and when you build this up you will see a lot of neutral tones in it it's not very cool and not very warm that i really like about this because we need such beautiful and fresh pinks that are not very cool and not very warm somewhere in between so it looks very nice and bubbly very happy color it is and also you can see when i'm dabbing the tissue on my lips uh, the glossiness fades away but again it is looking really nice healthy shiny and it has that really beautiful delicate touch to it so all you beauties who love to wear delicate pink shades this is the right one for you because you can just have a look at the stain as well it is very neutral looking not very warm not very cool just perfect i really love this shade and i highly recommend for all you pink lovers and again on its own this shade is going to look great on pale fair light light to medium skin tone beauties and if you build it up like let's say three layers medium skin tone beauties can also slay this and i told you that all these beautiful shades are appropriate for all skin tone beauties for example you can wear this as a topper shade or you can wear this as a base color or you can amp up the center portion of your lips for that extra juicy and glossy look so yeah you can wear all shades for all skin tone and kind of a lip look you want next shade is 03 dewy i love the shade name i love the shade itself it is just so good i love the tone too it is warm but it's not too warm it is neutral warm sort of color it's not very cool not very warm neutral warm yeah it has that really nice mixture of pink and coral in it but it's not very peachy or orangey and not very uh pink pink it's just a perfect balance it has that really nice nude undertone that brown undertone in it that makes it look very fresh and sophisticated for everyday wear for all skin tone beauties this is going to look great i think this is a very natural looking kind of a shade and it is having that really beautiful uh, nude neutral warm sort of a base that looks very fresh and nice on lips it's not very coral but it is somewhere towards coral and somewhere towards pink but has a nude base so it looks just a perfection in itself and you can see when i dab the tissue the stain is looking very beautiful very nude pink sort of a very natural shade my lips but better i really love this shade and again on its own this is something that's going to suit on pale fair light light to medium skin tone beauties beautifully but to wear in combination with some other lip colors as a lip topper as a base color this is going to suit on all skin tone beauties and also this shade is beautifully buildable you can apply just one coat you'll be happy if you'll apply three or four coats you'll be happy again because this is just that sophisticated and perfect looking now the next shade is 04 chilling red it is again a very fresh perfect red it's not very uh, deep and it's not very bright just somewhere in between it has that really nice uh you know spring feel in it it is christmasy but is not having a lot of depth it is very fresh looking very ripe juicy uh red that looks really nice during uh spring weather i really love to wear such fresh red shades and i can wear this during christmas as well because again it is giving that really nice glossy juicy lips that is very hydrated so 
uh, for Christmas as well. This is a very appropriate red and whenever you want, you can definitely go ahead and wear and slay. Just enjoy. This is a gorgeous red color. It's not very warm. It's not very cool. Just a perfect red. It has a bit of pink hue in it that makes it very spring appropriate but it's not too much just very light uh, layer of pink nothing very prominent dabbing a tissue and you can see it is giving a really beautiful fresh red shade but there is somewhere slight bit of a pink touch in it that makes it look very fresh and lively again very beautiful red and this shade is something that's going to suit on all skin tone beauties beautifully and also this is the most pigmented shade of the entire shade range that i have now we have their next shade which is actually their best seller and quite unique and this is 05 movement okay so at first layer when you apply here also you can see that it is giving that really nice brown rose kind of a vibe it has that really nice uh rosiness in it and with a depth of brown in just uh first you know application and when I build this up, this is giving a really nice mauve with a beautiful brownish red tone in it that looks very unique and nice, very sophisticated. It has a perfect mix of more towards mauve and less towards red brown. So it is giving that really unique and very neutral again, a very neutral looking mauve brownish red. It is very unique and very beautiful shade. This is something that's going to suit on all skin tone beauties again. And this is one of the most sheer shade of this range if you want to have a great great pigment you need to layer this up and three layers are very much important to achieve that proper opacity and to achieve that really nice mauve and hint of reddish brown in it very much wearable for day-to-day -day wear as well and when i dab the tissue you can see the stain is looking very beautifully mauve but has that undertone of brownish red in it if you want to have something extremely unique, you can try the shade number 03, that is Dewy Fig, and shade number 05, Movement. Both are very beautiful and unique in their shade family. According to me, the 05 Movement shade gonna look great on all skin tone beauties as per the layers you apply. This shade on its own, let's say one or maybe two layers, gonna look great on pale, fair, light, light to medium skin tone beauties. Here I want to show you something. I just took a little break for dinner i had a good wholesome meal and uh, you can see just have a look this is how the lip stain looks like lip tint looks like and uh, you can see the glossiness faded a little bit but it's not completely gone it is hydrating it is looking nourishing that shine is there yeah and faded a little more from the inner portion right from the inner portion and outer portion is intact now let me quickly do a touch up of this lip tint and i'll show you how easy it is to touch up as well because if you want you can also do the same easily yeah just to look presentable and just to get that glossiness back just have a look it is so easy to do Just have a look how easy it is to touch up this beautiful lip stain and it doesn't look crusty, cakey, sticky at all. It is still very much lightweight. This shade, if you're curious, again, this is 04 and I'm loving this. Also, this particular shade is one of the most pigmented shades. So for the sheer shade, this thing is going to differ a little bit. If you eat a lot of food, then a, a proper wholesome meal, then your stain gonna fade a little more or it might look even more prominent on sheer shades, specifically on these two shades, uh, 01 and 05, yes, and maybe even on 03. So this was the thing I wanted to show you. Now let's continue the swatches. Now the next shade is again very fresh for all you beauties who love to wear peach shades. This is 06 peach blended and this is a gorgeous peachy orange shade it is pigmented and it is very again very much fresh looking and very nice a very you know lively bubbly shade i am so much impressed with this shade if you want to look super fresh and beautiful just go ahead incorporate this shade in your routine 
this gorgeous peach shade has a slight bit of a red undertone in it that makes it look very much prominent and that depth of red is really nice but it's not too much it is more towards peach so i really like that how fresh it is and it's neutral but it's more towards warm side it has that really nice warmth in it it's not too much golden yellow tone warm it is peachy but has a really nice depth of red that makes it look really beautiful and again this is something that's going to suit on all skin tone beauties really well so i really like that how all these undertones are playing really beautifully and also you can see when i'm dabbing the tissue there is a base of red onto my lips and there is this slight bit of a warmth of orange that peachiness on my lips that looks really nice and not to forget that beautiful shine it leaves even after rubbing off the gloss i love it and the glossiness is not exactly exactly gloss it is non-sticky beautiful lip oil kind of a finish that i'm loving now the last but definitely not the least the seventh shade is a very beautiful fuchsia shade this is 07 cold fuchsia if you are a fresh pink fuchsia lover go ahead invest in this particular shade i love this fresh shade again i told you all these shades are very much fresh looking this is again very happy pink shade but more towards fuchsia it has a bit of that purple hue in it but not too much it is not very cool like more towards purple no it's not like that and it's not very much warm it is leaning towards purple but it has that really nice uh, you know control of warmth in it a perfect balance of neutral cool and neutral warm in it like i'm loving that how beautiful this fuchsia pink is this is pigmented this is let's say second most pigmented shade of this range and i'm loving that how gorgeous it looks this is again something gonna suit on variety of skin tone beauties and after wiping off that glossiness that oiliness you can see that there is this beautiful neutral tone fuchsia the tint is looking very much on the cooler side it is very fresh and cool looking you know it is giving that really nice vibe if you layer this up let's say three to four layers gonna look great on all skin tone beauties if you want to know out of all these seven shades which particular shade is most pigmented and which is less pigmented i can say 04 chilling red is the most pigmented shade then on the second we have 07 cold fuchsia little less pigmented then 06 peach blended less pigmented than the shade 7 cold fuchsia then on the fourth number we have 02 mellow pink all right then i can say 03 dewy fig or uh, somewhere in between as i told you uh, in the beginning of the video then i have 01 pure coral and the least pigmented shade that you need to layer up quite well three to four layers is definitely 05 movement and also you can see after wiping off the glossiness the stain stays in an even manner and is very much intact very beautiful looking and is not at all patchy that is something i really love about this tint i'm loving it and highly recommending you lovely people to try this so these were the hand swatches lip swatches of newly launched etude house glow fixing tint you can see all the shades are absolutely stunning go ahead invest in whichever shade suits you the best kind of vibe you want it's really tough for me to decide one particular favorite shade because i am loving all of them and i'm gonna enjoy all of them equally it is really very tough for me but top three can i say yeah let's go ahead okay so after thinking a lot i finally decided top three however this can change any time because i'm loving other four shades too they are equally close to my heart and very beautiful but for the uniqueness and for the variability i think i'm going to reach out to these particular shades a lot these days so for uh, you know current preference i'm saying so the very first one is this 03 dewy uh, fig this is gorgeous very much appropriate for day-to-day -day wear even without the makeup this is gonna look great i'm loving this shade uh, i'm gonna wear this one a lot and the next one has to be this 05 movement because how unique the shade is that gorgeous mauve tint and beautiful red brown undertone i'm loving how unique this shade is if you want to have something unique go ahead invest in this then of course the shade i'm wearing right now this is again very fresh 
a very perfect red according to me so for occasions for this makeup that i have right now it is looking very much nice and sophisticated so i can definitely pick this particular red that is 04 chilling red i'm definitely gonna enjoy this in this particular season a lot however this top three counting can change anytime because i love other shades as well as i told you already all right let's talk about pricing so this one is priced at 950 rupees for 3.8 grams of quantity earlier etude house uh, fixing tint was priced at 950 rupees for four grams so this new one is 3.8 grams same price and I think it is pretty good because this is how the price range is in India and I'm loving it. You can go ahead, just have a look whenever you get great deal. I got my hands on this one on 10% off on Nika uh, during Nika Pink Love Sale. If you want to go ahead and watch my recommendations, you can do that. Uh, so I got 10% off and some freebies as well. So I'll share my haul with you lovely people pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Do subscribe and press the bell icon. To get notified you can go ahead invest in a shade or two whichever you like and it is definitely an experience to have the longevity how it sits on your lips how it wears how you can touch up and still it looks very natural beautiful not at all crusty and drying it is very hydrating looks really beautiful just perfect tint this is definitely going to be a staple in my upcoming summer routine as well because it is so lightweight non-sticky texture and i highly recommend 10 on 10 loving it so much and yeah purchase links of all the products will be mentioned in the description box all the shades so you can go ahead and grab if you like i hope you found this video enjoying and helpful you enjoyed the swatches application review every single thing so yeah do like share comment your beautiful words do let me know your favorite shade from this collection i would love to know and yeah subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos i'll see you soon in my next one till then take care bye